working. I remember sort of in my interview, um, which I had here, uh, and they were saying, you know, what are you looking for from this job? And something I just said was, I just want to be busy. I want something to do. Um, because coming from a previous job where I just felt like I wasn't busy, I didn't have a lot of work a lot of the time, and it just felt slow and long days and boring. And they sort of laughed and went, yeah, you'll definitely be busy here. And I think by like my third week, I was sort of eating my words. I've done a politics degree. I want to work in politics. Civil service, it's the centre of so much of it. Um, but right now I'm working in the HR department, which is not specific to the civil service. Every organisation has an HR department or some responsibility for HR. So it's not specifically that. So I think in terms of what I was expecting from what the civil service was, you don't realise quite how fast it is, how much is going on, how everything links up. It's not just what your department's doing, but it's then what all the other departments doing, how that links together. Um, and then your sort of HR department, how that links into everything else across DEFRA as an organisation, because everything kind of comes back to people and the people who work here. So going back to what your question actually was, sort of what I do, um, my job kind of just covers anything that comes up because I work for the HR director. So anything that's on her to-do list goes onto my to-do list. So it could be one day that, or well, not even one day, one minute, I'm replying to emails about meetings that are coming up and making all the arrangements for that, sorting out agendas, making sure the right time slots are confirmed for the right people. Um, the next minute could be sort of proofreading documents or briefings that are going to more senior colleagues, so sort of the permanent secretary, or there's been the preparation for elections and getting all the data and statistics in one place. And it's a lot of coordination and it's a lot of jumping between lots of different people and different things. Um, just making sure that the director's life runs smoothly, that she's ready for meetings she's got to go to. So I'll ask people to send in briefings. I'll manage her inbox to make sure the right people are getting the information that's coming to her and answering that. It's constantly like my head's in about 30 different places at once. Um, or people come up because they want a quick answer to a question. I think yesterday there was time with just sort of a queue of people coming up like, oh, just I just need the answer on this. What's what's going on here or what should I do when do I need to send this through I need to sign off if it's a document or a briefing um, it needs approval so there's no typical day typical week um, it just I do a little bit of everything <laughs> on two levels I think DEFRA as an organization it's such a big and important agenda what it does um, the environment is such a massive focus at the moment and the media and public opinion and being part of the department that's doing a lot to well, sort of work on the environment really uh, to kind of further that to make things better to make improvements so it's committed to making the UK a great place for living um, and so I think it's a really it's got a good ambition I think it's got a lot it wants to achieve and it's quite an exciting time to be here I think as it's growing as a department growing in like prominence um, and yeah I think it's a good cause to be working behind um, and then on a kind of more my job itself level I think because it's so focused on people and people who work here and improving things and making it a great place to work um, I think that's so important wherever you work and in whatever you do, it, everything does sort of come back to people. If your staff are happy, if they're fulfilled, if they feel valued, then they're going to stay and they're going to enjoy the experience because the amount of time you actually spend at work, it's a big portion of your life. <laughs> um, so if you enjoy that and if you can make that sort of a better place, I think it's a really like worthwhile cause in itself to kind of be a part of. I think there is, it's definitely useful. I think in terms of the like, the day to day, what I'm doing, it doesn't link directly to my degree, 
longer term, I sort of I think I'd want to go down more of the, you know, I've got the interest in history and politics and what I actually studied and to get more involved in kind of the politics or the kind of the stuff that feels more political, I guess. I'd like to do that at some point in the future or have some kind of specialism, I suppose. Um, but I think the skills that you learn from a degree from Oxford and not just the academic side of it as well, but all the other things that you do while you're there. You're constantly multitasking. You know, if you get involved in any kind of club or society, then it's all about you just balance your time and you are probably running between 10 different places in any given day while writing essays. And, you know, I rode while I was there. So I was involved in the boat club and then involved in like choir and other things. So it's sort of all of that juggling different things, I think definitely has helped in a job where I'm just constantly juggling things. Um, and I also think how independent a lot of the studying is where you know you're sort of you're given a reading list and a question and you just left you find the solution to the question that you've got for your essay or the problem that's in front of you I think it gives you a real like self-motivation um, an ability to kind of know where to go to find out or the confidence to think I can just find the answer to this and whether it's something really small um, in the kind of workplace of I don't know how this process works so I'm just going to find out I can look it up I know where to go or um and sort of finding that for myself because something I then find really frustrating is when people don't do that but kind of taking that initiative and having a question and wanting an answer and wanting to know the kind of bigger picture stuff I think that's all linked to that studying and that kind of reading a lot researching a lot finding out what you want to um and then Another thing I think sort of the, having a confidence to do, you know, if you're in a tutorial having to justify your argument, even if you're not convinced by your argument, but to be able to think actually, this is what I've read, this is what I can half pretend I know what I'm talking about. I find that sort of before university, I wouldn't have done that. Even, you know, sort of, I guess, challenging an argument that's in a book. You know, this person's an expert. I can't say that I think they're wrong. Um, but growing in that means even now it's a similar skill in a really different context of just giving a person an answer and feeling confident in the answer that I'm giving. Um, and I think that's a different way of transferring that kind of skill than sort of in a conventional work way. But I think these are all like the really useful skills that I don't think I'd have had without the student experience. I think the variety of it you know, having a set project or something that you can start and see through to completion is nice. And I've had things like that before, which is really rewarding. I also love the fact that I just do a little bit of everything. So I'm constantly learning. I can target the job or get involved in more things that I want to get involved in. So I, you know, I quite like reading and proofreading things or like drafting Maybe I think sort of all the writing skills that come through years of essays, um, which means that people are now saying, oh, can you just, you know, check through this? Um, and I also really like the people side of it. It's so much about having relationships and building that up with people um, because of HR, first of all, is all about people, um, but also the sort of private office support. I'm the go-to for so many different things. I don't just work within HR and then working with people in offices sort of across the organisation that you really learn a bigger sense of everything that's going on. Putting it in a context of this is DEFRA, then this is the civil service, and then this is all the politics stuff more generally and sort of feeling that you're a small part of that like huge context.